Very pleased you've seen uh, a lot of advancements since the last time we had a tour. Very pleased that we're uh, a bit ahead of schedule on budget and we'll have this ready to go and operational to meet the requirements by the end of this year. We will see a, a different kind of uh, effluent coming out, a much more higher standard of, uh, of, of clean. Uh, you'll notice it downstream, but as was mentioned earlier, there are other sources of, of problems downstream as well, not just the plant, of course, but we are doing our part to, to ensure the effluent is, is much better than it was before. Well, it's a very important improvement to the treatment process that was previously used here. Uh, by building and commissioning this plant into service, we're going to see a significant improvement in the quality of effluent released into Los Canna Creek, which is going to contribute to the ecosystem over time. It's also important because it ensures that uh, the City of Regina will be able to meet the requirements set out in, in the permit established by the Water Security Agency that dictates what quality of effluent they can discharge to the creek. Well, the plant's due to be commissioned in service by the end of the year. Uh, we're a little bit ahead of schedule. There's still commissioning checks to go through, some construction remaining. so. Uh, we, we may be a little early, I don't, I don't want to uh, anticipate a date as to right now, but uh, things are well on track. Reducing the levels of nutrients and, and bacteria going into the creek and, and the lake downstream improves water quality. Those nutrients can help, help contribute to algae growth and other factors in the watershed. Over time it'll certainly make a difference. There's a number of other things that the uh, WSA has to, has, has to uh, can comment on, but that also contribute to water quality downstream, but it will certainly make a difference in, 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 in lower levels.